Traumatic Brain Injury Recovery. I keep going back to you were made with a purpose and I feel like why this happened, I don't understand why, but there's a bigger reason why. And I believe that God has me on a path now that's purposeful and I'm just going to be a relentless warrior to make sure that everybody has a little hope. I had severe trauma to my brain, a traumatic brain injury. The list goes on and on, but my skull was stitched and stapled. I had over a thousand stitches to my face and my body. Lacerated liver, punctured lung, renal contusion, mesentery contusion, fur broken ribs. I scraped the cornea on my eye and actually I had to talk with my mother to find out all the injuries. I had a walker. I used to sit outside, put my feet in the pool. If people came over in my parents' backyard, I always had a hat on. I had to have my face covered. I had double vision, so I had to patch over this eye. So I, when I would go out, people would stare at me and my legs were completely black and blue. I didn't get back in the car until probably like four months later mm-hmm. and just had the courage to put myself in that situation to keep pressing forward rather than feel like a victim. I guess I didn't really imagine a future. I knew that one day I wanted to be a motivational speaker and think like well, all this hard stuff that happened to me, there must be a bigger purpose or reason behind it. And I was going to do something about it. I studied marketing in college and I was doing marketing after college. So I thought, all right, well, I'm going to make sure the world knows that I can be a hope angel for them. So I almost got killed in a really bad car accident. Like I need to do something about this. In fact, a couple summers after I volunteered at the hospital I was a medevac patient at and was asked to speak during nurses week to give the nurses and the doctors a sense of hope of like look at how great you've done mm-hmm. and how I've come along to just motivate them. I interned for the New York Knicks during college and so I thought well I'm gonna be like a sports broadcaster and work back in New York City and do that and that changed because I thought to myself, well, what do you really want to do with your life? You know, you've always lost it. You know, get back in touch with like, what's in here? Sometimes mm-hmm. I was just kind of going through the motions thinking, well, I just have to get a job and keep moving forward. But life is really short. And I sometimes need to remind myself that like, today is all that we have. Use it wisely. So advice for other survivors is don't give up. And remember that you were made for a purpose and this is part of your story now i thought when this was happening to me like why me what am i going to do about this but it wasn't why me it was what am i going to do about this now this is my life now i can choose to be a victim or i can choose to be like a warrior or survivor so Mm -hmm. that would be my advice for you survivors out there you're a fearless badass i'm sorry for saying that again but Mm -hmm. You got to think it and it all starts up here. That's why I decided to become like a strength and conditioning coach, but not for this muscle, for this muscle to help inspire and educate other survivors to keep going. Even though we're dealt with these circumstances, we've got a choice in how we can deal with them. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video.